honey baby this ain't it because I am I have an Ivy League degree and I'm a sitting state senator it's not about what I'm wearing it's not about what I'm doing they won't respect me regardless Reg so if you don't know who this is this is Tiara Tiara Mack so Miss Tiara Mack is a state senator for Rhode Island recently she has been wanting to push a particular sex ed bill to teach children about self-pleasure I'll let you handle that anyways <laughs> she has been getting a lot of backlash for her video on July 4th where she was twerking upside down on a beach and a lot of people did not like this because they look at her as a particular representation of black people one and also because she's a state senator so she is a literal ambassador of the state you know in a sense so a lot of people were really upset and mad about this um, her, her white friends really loved it though nonetheless I ran across this video and I also want to do a reaction video to this as well so we're gonna watch this video of this woman on TikTok give her response to this and and I want to put everything together because the the points that she kind of hit up here kind of also goes with what Tierra Max is because she's been saying on Twitter and she's been saying on TikTok that they always make us feel like we're not respected as women who are black and who are queer and all this other type of stuff, right? So she's going with this notion that because she's a black woman, baby, that she's not getting the respect that she deserves. We're going to watch the video. We're going to watch this video, though. Let's get into it. U.S. Senator, and I'm all for politicians having fun. They're normal people at the end of the day, but there's a time and a place. You're supposed to be one of our nation's leaders. You're supposed to be setting a positive influence as well as doing things that are supposed to impact people in a positive manner. I'm just going to respond because you tagged me on this and I'm a black woman and you're talking about a black woman. And listen, I, you know, in the manosphere, y'all really tripping. Okay, I know Kevin Samuels was y'all leader and whatever. Y'all got daddy issues. Um, here's the thing: stop judging black women, successful black women at that. You guys see titles and y'all into titles or whatnot, and you have to know. You said there's a time and a place for everything. Correct. You are judging a black woman who is not on the clock. She's not in the White House or the Congress or uh, the Senate at the time. She's on the beach twerking. Let her twerk in her bathing suit, in her leisure time, on her social media. Stop judging her. Whether she is in Congress and she's making a policy change, you're going to judge her then. You're going to judge her in the hospital. You're going to judge her on a corner. And since y'all want to be taught, I will teach you. I have no problems with it. I'll take y'all straight to school. Okay? And I see you from Detroit and you do music. So you have no place. You look very young. A young man. Uh, yeah, I have no problems teaching you. And you seem very nice. You do. And you said, oh, you're, she's a leader. She's in Congress. She's supposed to be leading the nation. And how is this doing anything for our, our people and blah, blah, blah. She is a congresswoman in Rhode Island. I think she's older than you. She's changing policy. She's been elected. She's an elected official. I don't think they have any problems with her where she's at. I think you should stay in the lane. And mind the business that pays you. What business pays you? Let's let's talk about your business. Let's do that. Music. Is it paying you? You're a struggling rapper from Detroit. Let's talk about that. Baby, stop at me. Don't at me. This ain't what you want. I promise you that. Don't at me. Because I asked a simple question. What is she doing? Is she a harm to you? Is she a harm to self? or others and if the answer is no leave that black woman alone so if you're not protecting black women or children leave her alone so first let's just 
talk about how they continuously keep trying to mention race into this. Her race ain't got nothing to do with who she is as a state senator. The point of the matter is the 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 point is not because she's a black woman that she shouldn't be doing this. It's to it's the position that she has to where you're not going to put yourself out there a certain type of way. The notion of twerking is a bad and has a negative imagery to who she plays and, and to what position she plays in in society. Whether you want to do it or not, I'm not here to tell you that. But if you are a state senator, I would like to think that if you are a person of political position, that you would hold yourself up to a certain standard. And dealing with twerking, can I just say that of all the things that I have been seeing on social media, I have to say twerking is the modern day tap dancing in 2022. It is. It is. I've seen too too many women in certain positions, all the way from Megan Thee Stallion to Sierra Normani, Suki Hana. Recently, you know, was twerking in front of East Indian women. East Indian women was trying to teach her how to do a little dance. Suki Hana over here about to get on the floor on all fours and start backing her ass up. It makes you look bad for you to present yourself in this way. Publicly, in front of other races of women. It's terrible. It's sick. And when we black men call you out on this, when other people call you out on this. Black shield. Huh, women shield. Huh, and the harmoniums. Huh, Malcolm X speech. Huh, black women shield. Huh, LGBT black women. Huh, attack his manhood. Huh, is beyond me that's what you do you put this shield up you put this mask up and you want to play victim you want to talk about how you're the most disrespected the most unprotected the most neglected the most undervalued the most judged the most overlooked but look how you present yourself Megan the stallion literally singing I'm a savage and in the middle of the performance gonna gonna do a Malcolm X speech talking about the most disrespected unprotected woman in America is the black woman but miss, you can't talk about how you're ratchet and bougie and a savage and yet want the protection of men. Somebody who's ratchet and bougie and savage is dangerous. Somebody that's savage and bougie and ratchet does not need protection. And no man is going to go out of his way to put his life at risk for somebody who is ratchet, disrespected. Ratchet women are disrespectful. So why would they deserve any type of respect if they're not reciprocating the same energy? Neglected? You keep overlooking all the men who keep trying to give you the right advice. You don't even value what they have to say. You don't even value what they have to give you. This woman here just talking about, stop judging black women. Just leave us alone. Stop. You can't speak on us. You can't speak on what we have to do. But yet continuously... These are the same type of women that would tell you what a real man is. Tell you what you need to do. At the very end of the video, she's like, let's talk about your business. Let's talk about your life. So you have a right to talk about his life and his issues and, and, and his pro. And you, you see what I'm going with this? You have a right to talk about his job and his position and whether or not he qualifies to even speak on the topic. And yet he can't do the same thing. That's beyond me. You want to talk about who's young and who's being childish and you talking about this through a karaoke mic? You're using a karaoke mic to talk. You know what? Never mind. You can't be a woman out here using your race and using your gender and who you are to literally disregard accountability. For the women who keep condoning this or keep advocating for this or defending this has to stop. Because you're speaking two different languages. You can't be saying that you're the most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected. And then conduct, and, and, and conduct yourself as a savage. Conduct yourself as somebody who's ratchet. I'm not saying you can't have your fun. But as the man even said, there's a time and place for everything. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this whole topic at hand. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to your channel, share this video with other people, and like the video because it helps out with the algorithm and gets this video out to more people. So until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am...